What's up guys? My name is Will and today we are going to be building this wonderful skate park. Fortunately, Clayton is at a wedding right now in Texas, so he's only going to be here for the first clip. The first clip and the last clip. So buckle your seatbelts everyone and get ready to build this monstrosity. So we're going to Woodworker's Source. We have arrived! So the wood is now in the car. It looks like a war zone broke out in here. Time to clean it up. Ooh, it's clean now. I got my special wood. It's a super thin kind. So I kind of lied to you guys in the last video. Basically I showed that I hadn't installed any masonite to the actual ramp. But as you can see, the reason I didn't show it is because it didn't go on very well. So what I gotta do is I gotta remove this uh, sheet right here and apply the new sheet that'll be much better on here. All right, it's been removed. Now it's time to put the new sheet on. So I got the thinner sheet cut out right now. As you can see, it is very flexible. Now I'm just gonna conform it and staple it in. The sheet has been applied, but see all these ugly looking staples that are right here? I'm gonna try to fix it up a little bit with nails. And then once I have all the nails in, I can remove the staples and it will hold amazingly. Woo! It's all good right now, super secure. And I've started to do the landing as well. So got the roll in and the landing so far. All right, so here's what's going down right now. Originally, I thought that this was gonna be like the layer that you would actually ride on, but after building this, this looks pretty ugly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as the first sheet, and I'm gonna put a thinner sheet over it so that way it has none of these nails and stuff in it. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna build this quarter pipe out of strips of this, and also the top of the landing with the strips as well. I'm gonna put the face on, and it's gonna look dope. Look at that. So I ran out of staples. See the first couple ones are stapled, but the rest of them I had to use screws because I ran out. As you can see, there's some overhang that's like right here. Also, there's overhang right here, and I'm also gonna trim that out. The next step is to make this quarter pipe. So I cleaned it up a little bit so it looks a lot better. We got all the tools organized over here. Got the back with the fingerboard ramps that I'm gonna be implementing into this park. And right here, we have a black rubber ramp. And I bought this at a meet meetup, the Sorry for Fingerboarding meetup a while ago. And I'm actually gonna use this in the fingerboard park. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half and then put it right here. 
That bank to bank came with this little uh, down flat rail. So I really want to use this right here, but I also don't want it to get in the way of your hand when you're going over the mega. So I'm actually going to use part of this ramp to put it right here. And yeah, because I want this whole whole video to not just be the mega ramp, but the whole like mega ramp section. So let's do it. Let's cut this thing. Bam, black of a ramp cut in half. Woo! So I just made another one of these little wavy pieces just so there's a little bit extra support when I put the sheet on top. But right now, I'm gonna need to paint this little, this little circle down in here, this little half circle. Also, I'm gonna paint this rail and also I'm gonna paint this edge so it matches like the purple edge. So let's go paint. The bottom literally just blew out of it. So what I'm going to do right now is paint this little uh, half circle thing in here. Um, I have all these paint markers from the Adult Corby camps. They're really good. I don't know if you guys saw in the last clip, I was like shaking up the paint can. And then it just like blew up. I think I've left them out in the hot sun for too long. It's been averaging like 100 to 110 every day. Yeah, let's, let's draw this. This is the final product, looks pretty good. But I also got this from outside. So I actually missed a step. So when I put this ramp all the way against right here, so I'm using this one instead of this one over here. Basically, it just comes out a little bit more and I think it looks a little bit better. But see how there's that little overhang right there? I basically gotta go and trim the entire mega ramp of this little overhang layer. <laughs> Now she sits in here perfect. I really like how it just so smoothly transitions. It's just really smoothly transitions over. So you like roll in and just go. All right, folks. So before I lay down all of like the masonite layer, what I gotta do now is I gotta build the feature that's gonna go right here. So that way, when I finish up this whole little mega ramp series, the skate park will just end cleanly at this line, and I'll be able to build from there. But this little section right here, I think it'd be really cool to have like a volcano slash mini box. I'm gonna start drawing that out. I'm gonna trace it really quick. So I have this board right here, and I'm gonna basically just put it up against here and trace out the mega, because I think it'd be cool if the whole everything just ended up with the same contour as the mega ramp. So I'm gonna use the contour of the landing of the mega ramp to build basically a little smaller jump that's gonna go right here. And yeah, it's gonna look really cool, so let me do it. So I have the contour of the actual mega ramp itself, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically draw out a little box jump. So I want the top of the box jump to be like a little grass gap. So I'm actually just using this little grass square um, to measure how long it's gonna be. So that way when I put the grass square on top of it, it's just the perfect size. So in the previous video, I talked about using this little string. Unfortunately, the microphone died, so I kinda had to improvise. But basically, I'm gonna use the same technique and draw out a little takeoff ramp. Basically, what you do to do this is you just anchor it down with one finger and then draw it and it'll be a perfect circle. So I'm gonna use that 
draw the contour of the kicker ramp. That's the basic outline of how it's going to look. I'm going to cut it out and see how she looks. Bam! Got it. Alright, so then this will go. framework in place. I have these little waves and then it goes over to the black river ramp and then it goes over to this section. You can see it's like a little volcano right here, then a smaller box jump and then obviously the mega. But the cool thing is is that all of the landings will be the same. So when you look at it from this angle right here it'll look like the mega ramp just has like a huge landing or a super wide landing but it'll be all the different sections and that'll lead perfectly into this section. So something that I really wanted to do on this park is keep this theme. So you can see that there's like three pieces of wood and they're all like a little bit deeper cut than the other ones. I think this looks really cool and I think this is like a really cool, I don't know, design pattern for the actual skate park. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this box and the same thing to this and the same thing to the wave. Here's the rail. It looks very, very nice. You can still see the black river on it too. That's tight. So I've just picked up the sheets of wood from drying. They look very cool. We got the mini box jump, the box jump, the mega ramp, and right here we got the little waves. Then we got the black river box cut in half with the rail on it. Then we have a little kicker. We have the grass gap over here and also this little hubba that's gonna get a nice coping ledge on top of it. Plus the quarter back there that I still need to fix. The next step is I have to build little supports that'll go in between little gaps right there and right here and right here. So I just measured this little gap and it's two inches. So I'm gonna make three little supports out of this two by four.
thing I've done is I made some like little uh, squares of, out of just smaller wood. Basically what I'm doing is I am putting in little supports around the whole thing so that way it stays the perfect shape I need to stay. pretty good right now. Now I gotta do this section and this section. So for the first step of this next section, I'm going to build this little hubble ledge right now. It's just two pieces of half an inch thick. I have this convenient uh, piece of metal that perfectly fits these two guys in here when I hammer it in. So I'm gonna get this thing cut to size so it'll fit on this perfectly. And I'm gonna install this and then this will be the, the first of the foundation to the new section. So let's do it. I hate cutting metal. Just got the piece of metal sanded off and cut out. Now look at it. Ooh. So because I can't leave any part of the skate park, not having pristine details. I need to do the back side of this hubba, even though you probably won't ever see it. So I'm gonna draw it out. Wow, you look behind the hubba. This looks really horrible, but it's okay because it's gonna be completely hidden all the time. Bam, bam, bam. So the frames have officially been finished. It's looking so good. Um, the next thing I gotta do now is then masonite it up so it actually starts looking like a skate park. this really weird looking shape that's right here but hopefully this will be like the perfect shape that'll fit in this whole section so let's find out so my goal is that this one sheet do like the whole entire stretch but unfortunately it doesn't really work so I'm gonna cut it right here do this little section and then worry about this long strip
it is now time for the grass cap. So, the grass cap is going to go like right here. And then I just got to cut it out. Bam! Ba -ba -ba Bam! Oh, that actually worked. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video of um, me building the skate park. So far, this is part two of three. Yes, I know there's gaps between the ramps and I know that there's areas where there's little seams that are a little bit big and I know that some of the paint got kind of messed up in areas, but all of that is gonna be fixed in the next video. This is only part two of three. So in the next video, this ramp is gonna look completely done and all the little blemishes will be gone. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you guys enjoyed this building video, make sure to give it a good old like. If you guys wanna see part three, then you should subscribe. If you guys wanna see some great fingerboard Instagram content, go, go to UndialedFB on Instagram. I am White Trash Willie. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you later. Peace out. Undialed.co.